We were incredibly lucky to come back to a job that we were familiar with and a crew and a cast that we've known for many, many years. Um, because that allowed us to feel a little bit more comfortable as we jumped back into life. Um, there were obviously protocols in place that made everyone feel a lot more comfortable and safe, but we're also um, a lot of effort for all of us to pull off. And um, so it just changed the work environment. But the most palpable thing when we got back to work for me was, and this is gonna sound a little soft-headed, but like the gratitude about being back and being with other people and doing the work that we love. There was a new level of appreciation for being able to just make something that would entertain other people. Loyal fans, um, I think they really uh, love these characters and like to watch what's going to happen with each of the characters. In the, they even sort of carry a flame for the characters that have gone on uh, to you know be on the show. Whether it's because they were they were killed off, like Tom Keen. There are still people talking about Tom Keen on the internet. I mean, he's been gone for years and is now a doctor. <laughs> but I just think like um, it's, it's just one of those things where they caught on on the ground floor and they got to know these characters and we all grew up together. I mean, we're going on almost a decade of life and here we are, we've all, We've all gone from one phase of life to another together at this point. Yeah, I think that there's actually a diffusion of the power play that has been going on all along. So there's a power struggle that Liz is now rejecting and choosing to sort of break away from and find a way out of. And the only way she can do that and ensure that her innocent child is safe and that um, she's doing what she believes is protecting national security is to uncover whether or not Reddington is this Russian asset M13. Um, that she thinks might have been planted in the federal government. So she's off trying to sort of unearth that secret um, and to get to the bottom finally of who he is to her because that, you know, that mystery seems to be the, the key that will sort of unlock the kind of life that she hopes to have, which is maybe a little calmer than it has been. May not make for a great show, but <laughs> it would be much more, much more peaceful for Liz. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sparring with, with James and all the other incredible, like, actors who come through here, I mean, has been, is what I wanted. I wanted to be able to do that. Yeah, when Liz started out, she was very naive and you definitely worried about her a little bit more, especially because you knew what kinds of people she was surrounding herself with and what was happening in that world. And in the world of the blacklist, she was definitely sort of um, a baby lamb just like in the middle of the field. And then, <laughs> and then, you know, I grew up, she grew up and now she knows what could happen to her at any moment. I don't think that she's absolved of the, like, of potentially being um, a victim of some kind, or, and I don't think that she is hyper aware of her surroundings and, or has some kind of, like, 
like better than human power that makes it possible for her to always know what's going on and what's going to happen next. Um, but she doesn't walk through life with a blindfold on anymore. And so that is the, that is the change that I think is the essence of who Liz is now. And that is what has changed the most. The energy behind making this show um, is really the crew. They make it they make it such a pleasure to be here because um, they're so good at their jobs, they're so professional, and all the things that you can say about a great crew, yada yada yada. But really, this is clear. This is the best show to work on um, in New York. It's like. You know, the hours are great because we get in there and we get it. We, we know how to get the show shot and we do it. And everybody has families and they have time. And we oftentimes have dinner with our families, which is unheard of in this industry. Um, and that's all because of the crew. And uh, we, have a, we have a great producer, Laura Benson, who keeps everything on task. And so in that regard, we're, we're really lucky. I joke with Harry that, um, you know, he's Liz Keene's real father. <laughs> um, because he just really, like, if you read the scripts and you look back at the scenes between Cooper and Liz, he's the only one being a real father figure for her. And so I feel like the mystery's solved. It's Cooper, <laughs> you know. <laughs>